Many lycinid butterflies in Australia, including blues and hair streaks, developed an unusual association with ants. They have specialized organs or glands that secrete substances that may attract, appease or reward ants. Certain butterfly species, such as the imperial hair streak in this video, can only complete its life cycle in association with a particular ant species. The common imperial blue, which is another name for this butterfly, has a special symbiotic relationship with southern meat ants, a species of rainbow ants. Ants normally feed on the larvae of butterflies that are also known as caterpillars, but lysinid butterflies have overcome this by the evolution of mechanisms that either deter the ants or attract them by the secretion of chemical compounds. The beneficial relationship between the imperial hair streak and the southern meat ant is quite special as well. In return for the honeydew the hair streaks produce, these ants protect the larvae and pupae from potential predators such as parasitic wasps and predatory flies. The larvae have three types of glands. There are single cell glands scattered all over the caterpillar's body that release substances that attract and appease ants. These are called poor cupola organs. There is also a large gland located in the middle of the seventh abdominal segment that secretes honeydew, which is a liquid of thick consistency made up primarily by sugars and amino acids. This large gland is also known as the dorsal nectary organ or honey gland. The pupae that you can see in this video also have these special honey glands and the ants were virtually covering every individual pupa of these clusters. There is also a third type of glands that need to be mentioned. These are located on the eighth abdominal segment and are the so-called dorsal irreversible organs or tentacular organs. They are shaped as long cylindrical tubes that can be turned inside out and are topped with a brightly colored ring of spikes. The function of these glands is not certain, but the release of these volatile chemicals may either repel or attract the ants. I believe it was the latter in this instance. There are different types of these ant-loving associations, also known as myrmecophily, Larvae that are only attended by ants sometimes, or only by a small number of ants, is called facultative myrmecophily. The relationship between southern meat ants and imperial hair streaks falls under a different category. This is called obligate myrmecophily. In this association, the larvae and pupae are always attended by a large number of ants, which you can observe here. Some ants also feed these larvae via regurgitation or the larvae actually prey on young immature ants. These associations are called aphytophagous or non-plant eating. It's important to note that even though both species benefit from this mutualism, they aren't completely dependent on each other. The ants forage on a wide range of other food sources and their reproduction and survival doesn't solely hinge on this mutualistic relationship and the lysinid larvae also feed on flowers, leaves and seeds of plants. Just briefly about the life cycle of lysinid butterflies. The eggs are usually laid singly or in clusters on the underside of a leaf of larval food plants. There are normally five larval development stages, also known as instars before pupation. The fifth instar often spins a silk pad and attaches itself to it before turning into a pupa. In many species, the ventral part or underside of the end segments of abdomen are also flattened and feature minute anal hooks that fasten the pupa to the aforementioned silk pad on a leaf. In this pupal stage, they don't feed anymore, 
their organs reorganize and transform into their adult form, and once the pupil cuticle splits, the adult butterfly emerges. Before you go, I'd like to show you several more images that I captured on location. I hope you will like them. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this informative macro on this unique relationship between these fascinating species. Don't forget to subscribe for more and you might also want to have a look at these videos next.